last video, we set up a simple template for our centered column about page. We're gonna use that for our services detail pages as well. But in this video, we're gonna start talking about the other special page types we have, notably the services page and the testimonials page. If we look at those, we'll notice that each of them has the ability to have multiple items inside. So the services page has you know, any number of services. In this case, it's got six or so that we can utilize. And then on the testimonials page, again, there's this kind of rotator idea that each one can have multiple uh, data items that go within it. We can go over to our code and look at how things are set up currently. So here's the about page, it's a markdown file, but our services page, which we're gonna start with, is still using that base.nunjux layout, and it's just all pure HTML making all of these work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a collection and that is going to be a folder inside of our inside of our source directory that's going to be called services. So we're gonna create a new folder, we're gonna call it services. And then inside of that, we're gonna have multiple markdown files that are for the individual services. So we're just gonna start with one. We're gonna have uh, this one here, this video making, video making dot markdown. We're gonna put some front matter at the top. And like I said, we're gonna use that layout that we created, uh, the simple one, for these as well. So this is going to be at slash lay, or layouts slash simple dot nunjux. These can have a title, so we'll call this video making. It'll have a description, just some lorem ipsum for now. And then we need to come up with a few new variables that are going to be how we pull this into our template. So let's go ahead and take a look at our services, HTML, and you'll notice that along with a title, video making, a description, lorem ipsum, we also have an icon. And so we're going to utilize the fact that we're using Font Awesome for our icons, and we're gonna have this string, this fa-some icon name string as our icon, and we're gonna put that in our front matter as well. So we're gonna call this fa icon, and we're gonna have this just be film. And then in order to make this all part of one collection, Eleventy has this idea of tags. So if you put a tag on a markdown file, it's automatically going to put it into a collection of that same name. So we're gonna go down here, we're gonna say tags, and we're gonna put inside that just a string of services, and that's going to add it to our services collection. So we're gonna come over and we need to now create a new template for our services. You can see up here we're using base.nunjux. We need inside of our layouts a new file that's going to be services.nunjux. And just like in our simple, it's going to extend another template, extends. In this case, we want to actually extend the simple layout. So inside of our layouts, we've got simple.nunjux. So that's now going to extend that file. So we're going to get that nice centered column of content but then we also need a way of displaying the list of services underneath that. So instead of uh, adding that and extending and completely destroying that content area, we're gonna go all the way back up to our base file. And after our content block, we're going to add a new block and it's going to be uh, post content. And that's going to add in an area that is going to work after our content. So it doesn't have to have anything in it here. It can be a completely empty block. And then in our services.nunjux, all we need to override is block of post content. And anything we put inside of here, we'll just put an H1 for now, hello world, uh, is going to automatically come into that area. So we'll save that in. Oh, we got some, uh, some errors here. And it's because on our uh, our video making detail page, we called layout instead of layouts.simple. Uh, so now that's working. We're gonna go ahead and go to our services.html. Uh, and instead of base.nunjux, we're actually gonna use layouts slash services.nunjux. So now after all that HTML, we have an H1 down here that's our hello world. So we now have a template that we can utilize and we're going to, instead of using all three of these different templates at once that are inside of it, we're going to focus on making a card style like this. So I'm gonna go over to our template and I'm gonna find that 
in the HTML, which is right here, the services area. And we'll go down to where it ends. I'm just gonna grab all this and we're going to delete everything else because we don't want any of this in here. So let's delete all that. And now inside of our services.nunjux, inside this post content, we're going to add that back in. So now we have a template of static HTML that is just this content, right? So we have the services area. We're gonna actually delete this. It's gonna become uh, what our content is up here. And then we have a grid. So let's go delete that first area. So we don't need the section title. So now we have a row that has multiple of these items inside of it. And we want to make this dynamic. And so we're going to use a nunjux for loop to make this work. So inside of our row, we're going to use a template tag called for, and that is for variable name in the iterator. So we're going to say this is for a service in collections dot services. And that is that tag that we, we used on the video making dot markdown file. It all corresponds to that. So inside this, and just so we can take a look and see what's happening here, we're just going to echo back out the entire service object. So you can see it's just an object object uh, that's coming in at the beginning there. So now to actually pull that front matter into the template, it's a little bit different than if we were on the page itself. So we actually have to, we call the service item, which is the, the one item in the, in the loop that we're currently working through. And instead of just calling the title, we need to tell we're looking in the data for this file. So it is service.data.title. So if we come back over, you can see video making is now right here. So we want to replicate this entire div over and over again, depending on the content of each page. So let's bring this into our for loop. And we're gonna get nice and tab indexed. And so for our H4, instead of video making as just a, an HTML string here, we're gonna use that same variable, service.data.title. And then instead of this random string of paragraph down here, we're going to insert service.data.description. .data.description. And instead of this film string here, we're going to use service.data.fa icon. So if we've done our job properly here, we should have, when we view Chrome again, two different video making services coming in first. So let's take a look. So as you can see, we now have video making here and video making here. And the only difference is the description. And that's because we have done our job properly and it's pulling in that markdown file. So now what we need to do is change over photography and music composing into that same style. We're going to utilize new markdown files for each of them. So we're going to come into our services and we're going to create a new file. We'll call this photography that markdown, put front matter at the beginning, and we're gonna come over and just to make our lives easier, we're gonna copy and paste this entire block and put it right here. So we've got layout, we've got title, so this will be photography, we've got description, photography description. We have an FA icon, I think we can do camera? Let's take a look. And we have the tag services, so we'll save that in, refresh, and we now have video making, photography, and I was right, it is a camera, and we have video making, again, photography, music comp uh, composing. So you might notice we've had to put in two things that are exactly the same on each of these. Layout and tags need to be identical on both of them. So in order to make this a little simpler for us, we're going to create a data file inside of services. So this file is going to be relative to our services, um, collection, and we can call it services.json, and we can actually input all that same data inside of a JSON object here. So we can have a layout property, and it will be layouts slash simple dot nunjux. And we can have a uh, tags item as well, and that will be services. And that's going to apply this to each and every one of the items added in the markdown. They can be overridden on these pages, but they by default are no longer necessary on these pages. So we'll go ahead and remove it from both. 
save that in. And we still have them coming in as ta as as pieces of this collection, uh, but they are no longer needing to have that one line in the front matter of each one. So we can also come in and in our services.nunjux template, we can have each of these also link out to those individual pages. And so we can come in and we can add an anchor to each of them. Uh, and the href can actually be service.url. And we'll say read more. If we come over to our Chrome, each one of them now has a read more link that goes to services slash, uh, services slash URL for the item. So now each of these can have an individual page where we can put, you know, well SEOed content for each of them. So now we can go in and we can remove the other ones. So let's go ahead and make sure that we've got the music composing file as well. So we want this to be music dash composing dot markdown. Again, we've got front matter. We don't need the layout or the services because that's going to inherit from the other ones. And we can say this is music composing. And this will be, I think it's probably music. Let's take a look and see what we get. Yep, see now we've got three and then we've got them again down here. So we can go in and we can delete that from our services.html, oops, our services.nunjux template. So all of this static HTML has been replaced now with a simple, oops, I think we need all the way down to here. Let's take a look. Yeah, uh, with a simple for loop inside of our row. We need one more div there. Save that in, take a look. Now we only have those three as we've needed them. And each one of them goes to an individual services detail page, all of which can have markdown put inside of it. So we'll go to music composing. Inside of here, we'll put an H2. This is the music composing section. Go back to music composing. And we now have that same HTML on the page that we saw from our simple.nunjux video. So that is the basics of setting up a collection inside of Eleven D. The next thing I want to do is I want to clean up our services page a little bit. We're going to change our services.html page to a services.markdown, and we're also going to move it into our services folder just to keep our structure a little bit cleaner. So let's go ahead and change this over to a markdown file, and then we can put in some content here. So you know. Uh, look at all the services we offer. So now inside we have a little bit of content here. Uh, and we can also have a paragraph. Paragraph styles are here. And all automatically just flows in here right above our content down below. And there's a lot of finessing you can do around this. You can change some styles up. So as you can see, we now have a services item inside of our services list, and that's not quite ideal. And that's because we have that data file that is uh, adding uh, front matter to each and every one of these items inside the services folder. And I still like to keep things structured like this with the services file inside of our, um, our, our services page inside the services directory. So we can very easily come in and we can utilize a piece of front matter that Eleventy is expecting and it's called Eleventy exclude from collections. And we can set that to true and this will remove it from any collections that it may have been a part of. So as you can see now, we only have three items in our services list page. So what have we done? We've created a collection called services. We used on each of the services detail pages, a tag called services. We simplified out our layout into the simple.nunjux. And then on our services index page, we called the layout layout services. And on that page, we loop through each and every item in the collection services and display a certain amount of data per item. And we grabbed this entire HTML structure from the static HTML from our services services.html page. So we can go and follow the same idea on the testimonials page, uh, but instead of having a link to each testimonial, we'll simply have it live on the testimonials page itself. I'm gonna go ahead and do that in a sped up version here. We're gonna follow the exact same steps. There's going to be 
a testimonials folder. Inside that, we'll have each individual testimonial with front matter for all the quotations that we need. So now, much like what we had in the services section, where we have a collection where each of them can pull different data to this page, we now have a testimonial section that is doing much the same thing, but the same with testimonials. And none of these testimonials actually link to the pages that are created for them. So they are just the small quote that go here. Now, you could very easily have this lead to a different page. All you'd have to do is insert that link into your template. Uh, but as you can see, all we have in our template is going to be a simple loop through collections.testimonials. And then we just use the, the static HTML as our base for creating uh, our dynamic loop. And each one gets a testimonial data quote, testimonial data name, testimonial data headshot, and testimonial data job title. So now that we have these two templates set up pulling from collections, we can move on to the work on the contact page and our home page in the next video. And before you move on to the next video, be sure to like and subscribe down below so you're notified of all my new content as it comes out.